Good morning guys, thank you so much for joining me again this week. Okay, so um, very quickly, we're sort of rehashing from last week a bit. It's about work, about the fact that I am working a couple of days a week, a few hours on those days, um, working in a fashion store in the high street, which I'm quite enjoying. I like working with the people I'm working with. They're really, really friendly people. And yeah, my manager seems fair and you know what? No problems there whatsoever. But it is causing me to be anxious. It is causing my anxiety levels to go a bit, you know, it's, it's a bit much. Um, but I think that's just because I haven't really done much work outside of the home um, since December. <laughs> yeah, that's it's it's not not great. I was working in a shop about last year, but that was mostly to get me out of the house and possibly get a little bit of money towards Christmas, which is exactly what I'm doing this year. This year, all I'm doing is um, trying to get myself out of the house whilst earning a little bit of pocket money, as you would call it. That's the reason for my working that and to help me overcome my social anxiety, because when I'm spending so long indoors under this roof, I'm not being social. And how exactly are you supposed to overcome social anxiety when you're not being social? Admittedly, when I was streaming, I was being social. I was talking to people while I was streaming. I was chatting to people and helping them with their uh, mental health issues, such as depression and social anxiety, but helping myself also. That, that's kind of where it comes from. That was the point. But now that I'm actually out of the house, it's taken on a whole new level. I am really anxious again and really nervous about it. I, I keep focusing on all the wrong things as well. It takes me about an hour to walk to work, which is fine. I don't mind walking. I like the walk. The only problem with that is that I know that by the time I get to work, I'm sweaty and horrible and smelly. So I always carry a bag with me with some deodorant and things like that so that I can freshen up by the time I get to work. But carrying a bag with me, causes me to sweat more where the bag strap is, you know, so it, that's even worse. So do I wear a top underneath my uniform, you know, a vest so that the the sweat doesn't saturate my uniform? I know this doesn't sound great. It sounds gross. I'm really, really sorry. But these are things that enter my mind and I focus on all the wrong things. Um, fact is that as long as I get to work like 10 minutes, 15 minutes before I'm due to start, then I'm perfectly fine by the time I do start work. I'm not gross. I shower every day. I wash. So, you know, there's no real reason for me to worry about my personal hygiene when it comes to work. There's no reason for that. But also, you know, worrying about if customers ask me questions, what happens if I don't know the answer? I'm brand new. Chances are I'm not, not going to know the answer. So, you know, there are lots of really silly things that enter my head that, you know what, they sh I shouldn't worry. I shouldn't worry. There's a lot of things about the job that most people would worry about that I don't. I'm not worried about miscounting cash because I've spent a long time in a lot of my careers checking money and counting cash. I'm all right with counting money. There's not a problem with that. I'm not worried about mishandling stock because I know that I'm okay with that. I've done stock, different types of stock. And, you know, the things that a lot of other people might worry about, I don't. But the things that a lot of people don't worry about, I do. And I'm putting that down to my social anxiety and my depression. My depression today, pause for a moment, because <laughs> I haven't taken a breath. Um, my depression today is not great. It really, really isn't, unfortunately. And there's, there's, I can't think why. I cannot think why. It's quarter past nine this morning. And so far today, I've got the laundry on, I've taken out the rubbish, done the food bins. I've got a little bit of other bits and bobs of cleaning to do, but I didn't leave the house at all yesterday, not at all. So I really, really need to. I need to get out of the house. I need to go for a work. Work? I need to go for a work? No, no, no. I'm not working today. No, I need to go for a walk. That's what I need to do. I need to get out of the house. I need to get some exercise in. I still haven't run yet. I must, must go for a run, but every morning I wake up, it's just like effort. Not the actual physical going out and doing it, because obviously that's effort, that's the point. But I mean the mental effort. I, I just look at my running kit and think, I don't, I don't want to get up. I really don't want to get up. Although having said that, the past few nights, anybody who watches my vlog know that my sleep is terrible. My sleep is really, really bad. I can drop off to sleep very, very quickly, but 
I'll only sleep for a couple of hours and then I wake up and I'm staring at the ceiling. You know, it's, it's not great. But this week, past few days, I've slept like a log. I have slept so, so well. I, I'm not waking up until like seven or eight o'clock in the morning and it's time for my husband to go to work. And I just feel fantastic for that. I wonder if that is down to my work, you know, because I'm now getting up and I'm going and I'm actually doing something physically and mentally outside of the home. So maybe that's having an effect. Maybe it's the fact that I'm not going to bed till 11 o'clock at night now, which is definitely different from what I used to do. I used to go to bed earlier at 10, but there's a TV program that my husband and I are watching called The Circle and that doesn't finish till 11. So yeah, I've been going to bed a bit later, but because I've been going to bed later, I've been sleeping really well. And because I've been sleeping really well, I've not been waking up until eight o'clock in the morning and I've not been wanting to go for a run. So I don't actually know whether any of these things are actually linked or not. I'm just trying to look at things logically and I think they are linked. So yeah, it's difficult. I. I I will go running again. I must go running again. If for no other reason, then I'm going to do the Brentwood Half Marathon next year with my dad. And I can't exactly let my dad down. He's doing really, really well. Me, I'm really, really not. So unfortunately, I need to kick myself up the backside and I need to get up, go out, bang, done. I need to go and do it. So we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully the next time I record a video, it'll be of, um, you know, after going for a run. That'll be the hope. Watch this space, people. Watch this space. Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but the bin men are here to pick up the rubbish and my washing machine is on its final spin cycle. So I need to go and do a couple of bits and pieces. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Take care of yourselves. Ciao for now. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thank you for being here. Welcome back to my video. Um, just a, another quick one. Um... I got a call this morning asking me to go into work, so I'm in work this afternoon, and my anxieties are really hitting bad again. I don't know why. I don't know why it happens. I don't know why when just, just going into work causes my anxiety levels to go straight through the roof, and I feel really, really bad. Not quite paralysed, um, but I, I still feel bad, and my depression's not helping today either. It's a Friday morning. I think it's Friday. Is it Friday? I think it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Sorry, it's Friday. It's Friday morning. And I was hoping to have a few days off from work because I've had to do a couple of extra shifts this week and my anxieties and my depression have been sort of beating me up quite badly. So I thought, no, no, no. A few days where I can just chill and reflect and everything else, that'll, that'll do me some good. But that's not what's happened. I was starting my chilled out weekend and I get a phone call from work asking me to go in. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to go in. I guess I could have said no, but um, I don't like to say no. I'm still relatively new at the job. I'm still new to the company and I don't want to start saying no. Um, not yet anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just wanted to do a video just to voice how I feel because talking helps. I know it's a repetitive message. I say it constantly, um, but yeah, I um, my depression I, I feel really bad at the moment. I feel, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I want to cry. I'm being completely honest now, I want to cry. I don't know why. I don't know what the problem is. No, <clears throat> I know what the problem is. The problem is depression. That is the problem. And it's not always, easy to identify what's triggered it because sometimes there is no trigger. With my depression I know that a lot of the time when I'm feeling depressed there is no trigger and what makes me feel worse while I'm feeling depressed is trying to figure out why I feel depressed and if there's no reason for it I feel like I'm doing something wrong and I'm not. I'm not. I feel depressed because I suffer from depression. That is the, the trigger and that's the result and whatever, that, that's the bad thing. But it's not just the depression, because it's going to work, because it's putting myself into a situation that I am uncomfortable with, my anxiety levels are going straight through the roof again. Not great. But I feel better when I talk about it, which is why I'm talking about it to you guys. Yeah. 
But still, suffering or not, I'm going to get my shoes on. going to get my jacket on because it's looking a bit... Oh, when did it start raining? Okay, it, I'm going to get a coat on, not a jacket, because it's raining. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm actually really glad I've got an umbrella in my bag. So, yeah, I'm going to get my shoes on, get my coat on, head to work and do a few hours in employment. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. I don't know why my anxiety levels and my depression are going mad. I know I've just mentioned that there's probably no reason behind it. There's no trigger. But having said that, it still feels like there might be a trigger. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Oh, God. One minute battery. I need to put my camera on charge. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Ciao for now. Morning, guys. So, yes, I did go for a run today. Yay! Quite happy about that. I did go for a run. I was hoping to go for a 10k run, but when I woke up this morning, it was pitch black and pouring down with rain. Normally, I don't mind running in the rain, uh, but if I was running a 10k, a large portion of what I would run isn't lit, doesn't have any street lamps or anything, which is a bit frustrating because I wouldn't see where I'm going or even what I'm treading on. Not great. So I went for a 5k and went a smaller route, but only in lit areas so I could see where I was going for the most part. There were one or two times where I almost slipped over and a few times where my foot ended up ankle deep in a very, very wet puddle. If you can think of any other kind of puddle, please let me know. But yeah, a wet puddle is the ones that I was running in uh, this morning. But I did. I went for a run, which is fantastic. I'm really, really happy about that. Um, it was a little bit longer than I normally like my 5k runs to be. I normally like my 5k runs to be um, less than half an hour. But being a really, really wet one and the first one that I've done in a month... Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I am quite happy. I think it was 31 and a half minutes or something that I did the 5k run in, so... Very pleased with that, that I actually managed to go out and do it, yay! Yesterday, I uh, had my parents come round. They um, came around a little bit earlier than expected, but that was absolutely fine. Uh, they were um, it, they were doing something fairly close by, so they came around to visit. We took them out to dinner, and it was a very, very nice dinner. Um, I had a burger. I always have a burger. I'm not too adventurous with my meals, but... I always end up having some kind of burger, not dairy. I don't have any cheese on it, no cheese. It's not a cheese bacon burger or anything like that. Um, the reason being, for some reason, dairy always sets my stomach off recently. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I had a really nice evening. So yeah, quite, quite a good couple of days so far, quite good. I haven't had, oh, got my hair. Um, my depression the past couple of days hasn't been too bad. My anxiety has not been too bad. Um, Obviously, what with work, my anxieties have been going, have been fluctuating, which isn't great, but I'm working through it. I am working through it, and I've got my running bug back. I've got my running enthusiasm back, and that is in no small part to my dad. We, When he came round, we just started talking about running, and we spent over an hour talking about running. Now, if you can find enough subject matter to talk about something like running for well over an hour you know you know you're onto something good so yeah got really really enthusiastic and excited about it again starting tomorrow i think is when the london marathon ballot placements are released so we find out whether we actually got a ballot placement with the london marathon starting from tomorrow so fingers crossed for that i'm not entirely sure whether i'm crossing my fingers to get it or to not get it because as exciting as it is, and I had did do it last year, I did do the 2018 London Marathon. Um, part of me doesn't want to do it again, and part of me is desperate to do it again. It's a really, really weird thing, but I absolutely loved it. So find out next week whether we're actually going to be doing that or not. Um, and booking, I think, uh, me and my dad in for a Christmas run. It's either going to be a 5 or 10k. You can choose on the day which one you're going to do, but it is a fantastic, fantastic run. I think I did it a couple of years ago. Really, really enjoyed it. So much fun. But yeah, I'm really, really enthusiastic about my running again. Really happy about that. I'm getting a head torch so that when I wake up, because we are now in sort of autumn, winter time, uh, the night stays night for a lot longer. You can't get up at five o'clock in the morning and go for a run with the sun shining. If you get up at five o'clock in the morning and go for a run, it is pitch black. So I've got a head torch coming my way. I'm going to be wearing that when I go for a run so that I can see where I'm going and I'm not going to be trading on anything. I shouldn't be, hopefully. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the plan. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, 
other than that, just wanted to do a quick video to say, yeah, I've started my running, I am feeling better. I do still have my depression and my anxiety, but it's not as bad as it was, which was good, which is very, very good. And really enjoyed having my parents visit. So yeah, so far so good. I'll let you know how the rest of the week goes. My next run I'm planning to do on Tuesday. Tuesday morning, hopefully, if I get up in time, to go for a 10k run without having to worry about traffic or anything like that but we'll see how it goes we'll see the one slightly frustrating thing i was hoping to show you some footage of the run i thought you know it'd be really really good if i did some footage of a pitch black nighttime run you know just lit with street lights so i had my gopro my little gopro here love this camera really really good except for the fact that sometimes when i press the capture button it doesn't capture. I'm not entirely sure why. Obviously, I'm either not pressing it properly or hard enough or I don't have it on the right setting, but I did a full 5k run with, I thought this was recording, but when I got home, I checked it, nothing. No footage, no images, nothing. No capture on it whatsoever. I tested it afterwards to make sure it's working and it seems to be working fine. It's just that I obviously didn't press the button. So I was running for a full 5k with this thing on my chest and yeah, it, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. So hopefully next time I can get some decent footage for you. <gasps> Pardon me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you for watching and uh, I'll let you know how the next couple of days go if I remember to do a video because we know how bad I am at doing that. Okay, thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Ciao for now. Hi guys, it's Monday afternoon and I've had a bit of a I say roller coaster quite a lot when I talk about emotions. And it has been a little bit of a roller coaster weekend. Well, not that much. Well, a bit. Sort of. <laughs> Let me explain. Um, okay, so fairly good weekend. Saw my parents on Saturday. They come out. We went out for a meal. Um, had quite a nice time. Sunday, we, again, fairly good day. Enjoyed ourselves. Um, I baked a cake. Uh, my mother-in-law came back from Corfu. Um, she gave us a call. Let me tell you a little, just a little story, if you don't mind. January 2017, a little Syrian hamster by the name of Hutch was born. Um, uh, well, she was a funny little thing funny little thing. Whenever she was putting her ball, she would head straight for a door. Doesn't matter what room you were in or even what house, wherever you are, doesn't matter. The moment you put her in a ball, she would go push straight against a door every time. She was a funny thing. Really, really funny. Um, she's quite old. I always thought hamsters lived to be a year old, but I've since learned that they can live to between two to three years if they are well cared for. Um, and Hutch was two months away from reaching the three-year milestone. She was two years and ten months old. Um, she was with us for most of the... most of the time. Until my husband and I decided to sell the flat. And then she had a massive cage. Huge, huge cage. But it took up so much room in the flat that um, Hutch stayed with my mother-in-law for a little while while we were trying to sell the flat. But selling the flat took longer than we thought. So by the time we actually moved, we realized that she's a bit too old and might not survive moving. So she stayed with my mother-in-law. We still went around there a few times a week, made sure that the cage was clean, the food was full, the water bottle was filled, you know, made, you know, just taking general care of her. Um, and uh, yesterday, when my mother-in-law got back from Cor Corfu, she got home to find that Hutch had passed on. And it's 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 silly. Well, it's not it's not silly. It's not that I'm quite upset by that. It's just a little hamster. A little Syrian hamster. But it's upsetting. Because she was our pet. And one thing that someone said about pets that always stuck with me is that friends 
you allow into your life. Pets you allow into your solitude. And these are little companions who you allow into some of the most private areas of your life. Sometimes areas of your life even your friends don't see. Those times where, I don't know, you're back from work, there's no one around, you're on your own, it's just you and your pet. So when that's gone, you notice it. And yeah, I'm, I notice Hutch. Hutch wasn't living with us at the time, so it seems silly that I would miss her, but I do. I do miss Hutch. But it's the circle of life, whatever you want to call it. So um, I spent today cleaning out the cage, making sure it was completely clean. It's quite cathartic, cleaning out um, your hamster's cage after it's passed on. Um, so today I haven't exactly been... I haven't um, been in the best emotional state today. Uh, I went for a run yesterday morning. Didn't go today, obviously, but I did go yesterday morning. First run I went in a month, pouring down, soaking wet. Loved every minute of it. So my emotions have been up and down. Um, today, all sorts of chores I sorted out this morning, about midday, post comes round, guess what? I found out about my Virgin Money London Marathon ballot. I was not successful, unfortunately. I got the funky rejects jacket, as I call it. Yes. The rejects jacket. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you enter the London Marathon, um, and you tick the box that says if you are unsuccessful that your entry fee can be donated to charity. They send you a jacket to say thank you. But you only get that if you are unsuccessful, which is why I call it the rejects jacket. That's, a, that's just a, a, a silly thing. I ran, I ran the London Marathon last year. I ran the 2018 London Marathon. I didn't run the 2019. And I'm not running, running, running the 2020 London Marathon. Um, but that's, that's all part and parcel. Like I say, emotionally, it's been a bit up and down. But I do miss Hutch, my little Syrian hamster. The same pet that children tend to have to teach them responsibility. I'm going to miss Hutch. Um... Yeah, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to pass that on. Because it has affected my mental health, as everything does. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you next time. R.I.P. Hutch. Take care of yourselves. Ciao for now. Good morning, it's Tuesday, and do you know what, I'm actually feeling a bit better. I slept quite well last night. I imagine that's because I didn't sleep well the night before. I was really, really quite bad with my sleep, but yeah, um, I was exhausted. I was trying to stay up to watch The Circle. Anybody watching The Circle knows Channel 4, 10 o'clock for an hour. I used to go to bed around about 10 o'clock, but since The Circle's been on, I've not been going to bed since 11. Um, but no, last night, 10 o'clock came and I had to go to bed. I was absolutely knackered and I was feeling, well, not particularly happy yesterday. As you may have realised, I was not feeling good at all for fairly understandable reasons, I think. It's been a really emotional couple of days, really, really emotional. Um, but yes, I went for a run. I went for a run. Yay. Um, got my GoPro working as well. So hopefully there'll be some footage. You'll be seeing some footage, either that side or that side or something. There'll be some footage here somewhere of the run. It was a very, very dark run. I went first thing this morning, which is probably why um, you might not be able to see much. But there is footage. Yay. I went running. It was only a 5K and it was, um, you know, slower than a uh, half hour 5k but it was still a run it was still a 5k run so i've done two 5k runs this week which is good i was wanting to go for a 10k run but 
considering before this week I hadn't gone for a run for an entire month, probably best that I start off a little bit slower and do the 5k runs um, before I go on to do 10k, which hopefully I'll be doing next week. I was also testing out my head torch because the 10k route that I take is not lit at all and with the weather and the seasons as it is it is very 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 dark especially considering I live out in the countryside where there are no street lamps and very little in the way of lighting anywhere and I will be running right in the middle of fields and stuff where there is no light whatsoever so I needed a head torch so next week I will be running the 10k my head torch works so we'll be doing that and hopefully I'll be taking my GoPro with me that works tested it got the footage and I'm, I'm, I keep going on about the footage I'm sorry I do keep going on about it but I'm really really happy that that's now working as well so yay um yeah I know this might seem a little bit of a I don't know whether you could a juxtaposition from yesterday's video I'm still a little sad a little upset about Hutch I am it was expected but nothing really prepares you for the loss of a pet doesn't really matter who the pet is. Um, but yeah, so I decided to do this video quickly and say, hello, went for a run, yay, things are good. Um, didn't get into the London Marathon as I mentioned yesterday, but thinking possibly maybe the Edinburgh Marathon, which is happening next year in May. Not mar half marathon, did I say half marathon? I meant marathon. Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. At the moment, I've got booked in. I'm going to be booking in a Christmas run at Stratford. I'm also going to be booking in a... Um, oh, no, I've already got booked in the Brentwood Half Marathon next year, which I'm running with my dad. The uh, Edinburgh Marathon, possibly. We'll see. I haven't got many book runs I've booked in, but... Got a few. Got, got a couple. Got a couple. And I'm really getting my running butt back. I'm getting really enthusiastic about it again. And I'm quite happy about that, um, obviously. But I also, when my parents came over, my dad and I spent ages just talking about running. How can you take a subject like running and talk about it for that long? I'm not entirely sure how, but obviously we enjoy the, uh, the subject that much that we can talk about it that much. When you get the running bug, when you get the running bug, you know, and you do want to keep talking about it because it is so much fun. It really, really is. It's one of the most fun things I do is go running. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm on a bit more of a positive, as you can tell. I'm getting myself ready for work. You can see I've had a shower. Um, so yeah, I need to get myself sorted for work. But I just wanted to do this video and end this week on a positive. Running twice, I didn't get into the London Marathon and yes, Hutch passed away. But um, I did meet up with my parents, had a nice meal with them. You know, it, it's been emotional. It has been emotional, but um, it's not been too bad. Well, not been too bad. Yeah. You have to make your mind up about that one. <laughs> but um, it's it's been a weird one. It has been a weird one. And that was my phone. <laughs> okay, right, guys, that's it. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if any of you do suffer from depression, social anxiety, or feel like you are in crisis, have a look at my channel bio. There's a number of organisations and charities, their websites and phone numbers on there to try and help people with mental health issues such as our own. And uh, if you do feel like you're in crisis, have a look at the website from Mind. That's mind.org.uk. They have a button that says you need immediate help. And that is designed to help people who really, really are suffering quite badly. Okay. Right. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Take care of yourselves. Ciao for now.